and welcome to this week's Top Property Tips. I'm Kat and I'm sharing Phil Spencer's guide to snagging lists. Snagging is construction industry slang for getting repairs fixed by a contractor on a new build home. It could be functional, like a missing door hinge, but can also cover cosmetic snags. These can be trickier to resolve sometimes as they're often down to personal opinion. So what's a snagging list and why is it useful? It's a list of repairs or alterations noted during the build to ensure the property meets contractual standards. It should pick up on any serious structural concerns but identifies minor issues too. The developer carries out the snagging works, stay on their case, you shouldn't settle for a second best finish. But a third party like the architect or the buyer solicitor or agent usually complies the list. Using a professional gives you peace of mind as they'll push for issues to be fixed and be able to check the standard of work. Check our links below for recommendations. But what are the most important snags? Well, here's our top five outside things to check. Number one, check the roof thoroughly for leaks, broken tiles or other serious issues. Check the loft, which should be insulated and ventilated. Number two, Walls, gates and fences are important to check for privacy and security reasons. Number three, is the drainage and guttering system all where it should be? Number four, is the external brickwork and paintwork completed and up to your standards? Number five, is the surface of your driveway finished well? If you're having a garage built at the same time, check it thoroughly, especially if the doors open and close correctly. Moving inside to the interior snags of your property, here's six things to look out for. Number one, inspect all hinges and door frames. You'll want every door to close and open easily. Check the gaps with the frame to see if it's even. Number two, open and close each window to see if they work correctly and they lock. Check they've been painted properly too. Three, there's no better way to check the stairs and balusters than walking up and down them. Do they feel even and secure? Four, the kitchen. It's the heart of the home, so leave no stone unturned. There's a lot to look out for here. Do the appliances work correctly? Do the cupboard doors hang properly? Do the drawers open easily? Are the floors and worktops free from cracks or scratches? Or is the sink leaking? Number five, be ruthless. Inspecting bathrooms. Any mistakes here could cause big problems in the long term. Does the toilet flush properly? Is the shower working? Is the water pressure sufficient? And how's the tiling? Number six, check the paint on the ceilings, walls and woodwork. Is the finish smooth? Check behind radiators too. These can be easily overlooked. Ensure all other hidden surfaces have been painted correctly too. There's no hard and fast rule when snagging should be done. Typically, it's about two weeks before your official completion date. But if you can, do it before exchanging contracts with the builders. Technically, there's a two-year warranty as a backup should any snags present themselves and your contractor is legally obliged to fix these, even cosmetic issues. House builders may disagree with your snags, so it's important to bear in mind you may not get what you want, but you should be ready to negotiate. Hiring a professional reduces the chance of nasty surprises further down the line. Our professional partners are happy to give you independent advice. Check the links below. If you found this useful, please do like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.